Prime Minister Narendra Modi tells party national executive that the countdown to 2024 Lok Sabha elections has started. In the next 400 days, party needs to reach out aggressively to young voters between 18 and 25. Arvind Kejriwal arrives for the big opposition meeting called by BRS leader K. Chandrasekhar Rao, Bhagwan Singh Man, Pinrai Vijayan and Akhilesh Yadav to join in as well, meeting in Khammam tomorrow. Lashkar terrorist Abdul Rahman Maki has been designated a global terrorist seven months after India and US moved a proposal in the United Nations Security Council Sanctions Committee. The deputy chief of the terror outfit will now face travel and arms embargoes and his bank assets will be frozen. India welcomes the move. Pakistan Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif calls for serious and sincere talks with India, including on Kashmir. In an interview to Al Arabia, he says, We have learnt our lessons and we want to live in peace with India. Hello and welcome to News at this hour. I am your host, Rika Roy, and this is our top story. PM Narendra Modi has told his party that the countdown to 2024 general elections has started and the party needs to invest itself in wooing the youth, uh, the voters between 18 to 25 years of age. The party was holding its two-day national executive to brainstorm upcoming assembly elections and the big battle of 2024. PM Modi suggested party workers refrain from making unnecessary remarks on irrelevant issues such as movies, uh, as uh, they put the party's development agenda on the back burner, sources told NETV. सबसे महत्वपूर्ण बात प्रधानमंत्री जी ने जो कही, वो ये थी कि भारत के जीवन का सर्वोत्तम काल आ रहा है। हम सामने देख रहे हैं। ऐसे समय हम लोग मेहनत में पीछे न रहे। इस प्रकार की एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण बात उन्होंने कही कि ये जरूर प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कहा कि चुनाव में 400 दिन है तो हमारे इस कार्यकाल की सेवा के लिए हमारे पास 400 दिन शेष है ये 400 दिन हम मतदाताओं की पूरी सेवा करें ये बात ऐसी है कि ये जो 18 से 25 के जो लोग हैं इन्होंने पुराने सरकारों में जो कुशासन चला उसको उन्होंने देखा नहीं तो सुशासन और कुशासन का अंतर क्या है जब हम लोकतंत्र में काम करते हैं तो लोकतंत्र में सुशासन से किस प्रकार से प्रगति होती है इसका एक कंपैरेटिव इस प्रकार का एनालिसिस करते हुए अगर हम उनके पास जाएंगे तो उनका लोकतंत्र में विश्वास भी बढ़ेगा और साथ-साथ कुशासन और सुशासन का अंतर भी उनको समझेगा BJP Chief J.P. Nadda will continue to head the party till June next year. The party senior strategist Amit Shah announced on the second day of its national executive meet the term for Mr. Nadda who took over party's president's uh, party's top post in fact from Amit Shah in 2020 was scheduled to end in January this year but there was an expectation that his term will be extended with nine state elections lined up this year. The general elections in 2024 is a big task at hand for him. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi faced a peculiar security situation with a youngster trying to hug him in Hoshiarpur in Punjab during the Bharat Joro Yatra. The leader though dismissed it as an over enthusiastic uh, kid, his party members had to pull the man away. Was Rahul Gandhi's security compromised in Hoshiarpur in Punjab when a man hugged him during the Yatra? The leader himself says it was just public enthusiasm. There's quite a lot of enthusiasm in the in the yatra. Many people uh, get overexcited, and that was a case where he was a bit extra charged up. So there's no problem. It's happened many many times before. Uh, I wouldn't call that a security. In the video, man can be seen hugging Gandhi and Punjab Congress chief Amrinder Singh Raja trying to stop the man. He was eventually pulled away by security personnel. The Punjab police too rubbished claims of a security breach. देखे number one point की जो video मैंने देखी है, उससे लगता है कि as if it is a security breach. 
we have made a perfect arrangements but yes there is nothing which we can get is a super perfect thing the incident comes days after the congress party's multiple complaints alleging security breaches during bharat jodo yatra and their request to the center to enhance security for rahul gandhi the incident also causes concern as it comes ahead of yatra going through jammu and kashmir वो चीजें अच्छे से रेगुलेट की जाएंगी क्योंकि ट्रैफिक भी चलती है बाकी चीजें भी हैं और जो बड़ी यात्राएं हैं उनमें लोगों को असुविधा होती है सड़क ब्लॉक हो जाती है बड़ी चीजें हैं सिंगल रोड्स हैं जहां पर ट्रैफिक जो है उसमें अब सक्शन पैदा हो सकती है उसमें गाड़ी में सफर किया जाए और जो बाकी जगह है उनको एडवाइज किया जाए कि कुछ एक जगह पे जहाँ अलाव करती है रोड वहां पर पैदल चला जाए बाकी सुरक्षा की दृष्टि से भी जो जरूरतें होंगी उसके मद्देनजर भी उनको गाइड किया क्या स्पेसिफिक स्पेसिफिक इनपुट है इस यात्रा को लेकर कि कोई थ्रेट हो सकती है नहीं इस तरह का कोई इनपुट नहीं है द यात्रा विल रीच लखनपुर इन जम्मू ऑन द नाइनटीन ऑफ जनवरी देन प्रोसीड टू कठवाज हटली मोर नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग नाइट हॉल्ट एट चटवाल देन ऑन जनवरी ट्वेंटी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हरिनगर टू डुगर हवेली from vijaypur to satwari on january 22nd on january 25th rahul will hoist the national flag near banihal and through anantnag the yatra will reach srinagar on january 27th and culminate on january 30th according to sources security agencies have advised the bharat jodo team against rahul gandhi traveling by foot in certain stretches and suggested he use a car and also limit the number of people traveling with him a comprehensive security review regarding bharat jodo yatra is still going on and schedule about their night halls is still being discussed with the bharat jodo team but the fact is for 10 days when bharat jodo yatra stays in shrinagar security agencies are going to be on their toes in new delhi this is neeta sharma reporting for ndtv Senior NC leader Farooq Abdullah will also join the Bharat Joro Yatra. My colleague Neeta Sharma has more. भारत जोड़ो यात्रा जो है जनवरी 19 को जम्मू पहुंचने वाली है हमारे साथ नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस के लीडर मिस्टर फारूक अब्दुल्ला हैं डॉक्टर साहब आप हमें ये बताइए ये बोला जा रहा है कि 21 पार्टीज को न्योता दिया गया है तो क्या संदेश लेकर पहुंच रही है भारत जोड़ो यात्रा और आप लोग उसमें शामिल होंगे सबसे बड़ा संदेश ये है कि जो आज नफरतों का माहौल पैदा किया जा रहा है उसको ख़त्म करने की कोशिश की जा रही है कि भारत एक है हम सब एक हैं हमारे धर्म कितने हों हमारी जबानें कितनी हों हमारी रास्ता कितना ही हो मगर हम सब इकट्ठे हैं और हमने इस वतन को इकट्ठे रखना है वो है इसकी मेन मैसेज जो इस यात्रा की है सर कुछ सिक्योरिटी कंसर्न्स भी इशू की जा रही है राहुल गांधी को लेकर बोला जा रहा है कि कुछ एरियाज में उनको पैदल ना चलने की सलाह दी गई है ऐसा आपको लगता है कि जरूरत है या बिल्कुल जरूरत नहीं क्योंकि इनका इनकी मैसेज यूनिवर्सल मैसेज है हर एक के लिए वो सप्ताह में हो या सप्ताह से बाहर हो कि अगर हम लोग इकट्ठे रहेंगे तो देश मजबूत होगा कठे नहीं रहेंगे तो देश मजबूत नहीं होगा ये मैसेज है यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी अनेकता में एकता उसको कायम करना है सर एक थोड़ा सा हटके इशू है जो वहाँ पे जो विलेज डिफेंस कमेटीज हैं उन्हें अभी हथियार दिए जा रहे हैं तो आपको क्या लगता है कि क्या इसका सिंबल है कि क्या जो प्रशासन है उन्हें सुरक्षा नहीं दे पा रहा है इस करके दिया जा रहे हैं देखिए हम लोगों ने भी किया था हमारी हुकूमत में भी था उस वक्त ये विलेज डिफेंस कमेटीज बनाई गई थी मगर हमने देखा कि इन लोगों ने यह वेपन लेके अपने ही लोगों पे जुल्म करना शुरू किया था बल्कि काफ़ी जुल्म किया था उस वक्त तो फिर हमें इस पर सोचना पड़ा क्योंकि उनने अपने स्कोर सेटल करना शुरू कर दिया और मास्टर बन गए बंदूक लेके मैं सरकार से कहूँगा इस पर सोचिए इसको देखिए एहतियात से देखिए कहीं ये ना हो कि वही सूरत फिर हो जाए कि जो पहले हमारे वक्त में इनसे हो गए थे सर अभी केंद्रीय गृह मंत्री गए हुए थे जम्मू ने रजौरी जाना था लेकिन वो वहाँ पहुँच नहीं पाए वेदर के कारण वहाँ पर ये बोल कर आए कि 360 डिग्री रिव्यू करेंगे तो आपको क्या लगता है कि अभी और कितना रिव्यू करने की जरूरत है देखिए रिव्यू तो करना है गवर्नमेंट को हर वक्त है क्योंकि ये टेररिज्म का मामला है 
और टेररिज्म का मुकाबला करने के लिए हम लोगों को हर वक्त इसकी तरफ सोचना पड़ता है आगे कौन सा कदम उठाएं क्या करें किस तरह इसको कंट्रोल कर सकेंगे ये जरूरी है लास्ट क्वेश्चन ये भारत जोड़ो यात्रा में आप कितना मतलब जम्मू में भी शामिल होंगे और मैं जा रहा हूँ कल मैं इनको हमारी जो बॉर्डर शुरू होता है पंजाब से लखनपुर वहाँ पे मैं इनको रिसीव करूँगा थैंक यू सो मच Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal hit out at Lieutenant Governor V K Saxena for allegedly stalling a Delhi teachers training visit to Finland questioning whether he really has a say in these decisions in a fiery speech at the special assembly session called to focus on what the aam aadmi party believes is relentless overreach by the lieutenant governor he questioned the authority of the lg listen in lg sahab ke us power nahi hai ye karne ke मैं भी आपको दिखाता हूं सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने साफ साफ कहा है कि भाई तीन चीजें हैं एक है पुलिस पब्लिक ऑर्डर और लैंड इन तीनों चीजों को छोड़ के एल साहब के पास कोई भी निर्णय लेने का अधिकार नहीं है यह सुप्रीम कोर्ट का ऑर्डर है ए, मैंने एल साहब से पूछा मैंने कि चीफ सेक्रेटरी को सीधे ऑर्डर कैसे देते हो मुख्यमंत्री मंत्री इनके थ्रू फाइलें क्यों नहीं जाती कौन है एलजी कहां से आ गया एलजी किस बात का एलजी कौन है एलजी ahead of the big opposition meet, meeting of the opposition parties called by BRS in Khammam where four CMs are expected to participate chief minister of Delhi Arvind Kejriwal arrived for his participation A proposal by the Yogi Adityanath government to build a corridor around the famous Banke Bihari Temple in Vrindavan in Uttar Pradesh's Mathura district on the lines of Kashi Vishwanath Temple corridor project in Varanasi is facing strong opposition. Local residents say they will be displaced and their daily lives disrupted by the proposed project. Priests and shopkeepers are writing letters to the chief minister with their blood requesting him to shelve the project. My colleague Saurav Shukla reports. Market shut, priest protesting for two days. In the congested lanes that lead up to the famous Banke Bihari Temple in UP's Vrindavan. The flashpoint, a UP government move to build a corridor leading up to the iconic temple which is 20 kilometers away from Mathura a town believed by many to be the birthplace of Lord Krishna the yogi adityanath government says it will acquire 5 acres of land around the bake bihari temple which houses around 300 temples and residential buildings the district administration has recently conducted a survey in the area protesting residents say they have been worshiping the deity by building temples in their homes for hundreds of years and their faith will be hurt if those are taken down hum aapki samasya rakhna chahte hain bhagwan ke prati jo hamari aastha hai sarkar us par bulldozer chalane ke liye bol rahi hai hum kaise aise bulldozer chalane denge ye jo hamari roji rotiyon ko todne aaye hain ye to rakshas log aaye hain apni dakaitiyon ke liye apne pet bharne ke liye apne parwaron ko lagane ke liye aur humko jhair ki puriya dene ke liye तो जो ऐसा विकास हमें यहाँ वृंदावन में नहीं चाहिए हमें वृंदावन की जो पुरानी संस्कृति है पुरानी जो हमारी धरोहर है केवल वही हमें वृंदावन में चाहिए द यूपी गवर्नमेंट सेज द कॉरिडोर इज नेसेसरी सो दैट मोर पीपल कैन बी अकोमोडेटेड एट द टेम्पल एंड वुड इन फैक्ट मेक इट ईजियर फॉर डेवर्टीज टू रीच द कॉरिडोर बने तो वृंदावन एज इट इज रहे मैं भी चाहती हूँ की वो प्राचीन काल का जो प्राचीन काल का जो स्वरूप है वृंदावन का वह वैसे के वैसे रहे उसके हिसाब से ही जो कॉरिडोर बनेगा वैसे बनेगा जो जो कॉरिडोर बनने वाला है उसमें किसी को कोई तकलीफ नहीं होगी दिस इज बाकी बिहारी टेम्पल इन वृंदावन गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रपोज अ मैसिव ह्यूज ब्यूटीफुल कॉरिडोर बट पीपल लोकल्स आर प्रोटेस्टिंग अगेंस्ट इट द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इन फ्रंट ऑफ योगी गवर्नमेंट इज टू सेटिस्फाई दीज पीपल बिकॉज दे आर से they are not going to take any compensation because it's about their belief they can give up crores but they will not leave 
Banke Bihari and go somewhere else. In Vandavan with Saurabh Gautam and Xavier Thomas, Saurabh Shukla for NDTV. Switching tracks to another story, Sadna Patel, the president of Chitrakut Municipal Corporation in Satna district and her supporters attacked the team uh, that went to stop illegal mining, video of which has now surfaced in which the town panchayat president is seen slapping a policeman. My colleague uh, Anurag Dwari uh, is uh, there. Anurag, uh, what is uh, the real story? Uh, we can see this lady slapping the policeman and apparently uh, she is stopping them from um, probing uh, while illegal, illegal mining goes on. Yes, the police went to the spot on Monday night uh, after receiving a complaint about illegal mining in Surangi village, which comes under Chitrakoot Nagar Panchayat. BJP leader Sadna Patel, who also happens to be the president of Sadna district, uh, she was apparently unhappy with the police action. And this led to an argument between her and uh, her supporters and the police and revenue officials who came there. Uh, the matter worsened and after uh, Patel and her supporters attacked the police. And uh, after uh, the complaint uh, by the Nayab Tehsildar, Sumit Gurjar, uh, the police has booked uh, 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 Sadna Patel and her supporters under different sections of the IPC. A JCB machine and two tractors were also spotted at the spot. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, But later, uh, they started abusing mm -hmm. the policemen. And Sadna Patel, uh, when she arrived there, she also started abusing the policemen and, uh, you know, she tried to beat up a police person with slippers. And the very next day, when uh, 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 Sadna Patel was, uh, you know, traveling in Satna in a uh, in, in in a car uh, mm -hmm. that was spotted with a hooter, she was fined by the police for speeding in Satna, and the hooter was also removed. But she was not arrested mm -hmm. uh, even then for assaulting a government official. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Anurag, for joining us uh, with that story at this hour. The body of the last Nizam of Hyderabad, Mukarram Ja, arrived in Hyderabad. He died in Turkey on Saturday night and will be buried with full state honours at the city's Makkah Masjid on Wednesday. My colleague Uma Sudhir reports. The body of the eighth and last titular Nizam, Nawab Mir Barkat Ali Khan, popular as Mukarram Ja, arrived at Hyderabad by a special chartered flight from Turkey's Istanbul on Tuesday evening as per his last wish. Preparations had been made at the Chaumohalla Palace where his extended circle of family and friends as also the public can pay last respects. On Wednesday afternoon, the body will be taken in a procession to the historic Makkah Masjid in the old city area of Hyderabad and the burial will happen after the 5 p.m. prayers. Mukharram Jah Bahadur passed away in Turkey's Istanbul on Saturday at the age of 89. His mother, Princess Duru Shevar, was the imperial princess of the Ottoman Empire in Turkey and daughter of the last Ottoman Caliph, Abdul Majid II. The Nizam's family ruled Hyderabad for 236 years. The seventh Nizam, Mir Usman Ali Khan, under whose rule the Hyderabad state joined the Indian Union in September 1948, was famous as the richest man on planet Earth. Mukharram Ja was his grandson and was chosen from among 104 grandchildren to inherit both his title as well as his wealth. Though of course that ran into a lot of legal wrangles. With Mukharram Jha's death, the Asaf Jahi era can be thought to be over. In Hyderabad, the camera person Nagraju Umasudhir, NDTV.